And then I go like this, and I pull this out, and I was like, wait, why is that so... And I go, are you kidding me? What's up guys, Alec Mac 111 hope you had an awesome new year. I did take a week off last week. I was visiting some friends out in Pennsylvania, and I'm currently in my basement quarantined from the Rona. There were like three kids that got sick from New Year's Eve party or the wedding that I shot afterwards. So it's been like seven days now, and I have no symptoms or anything, so I've been quarantined here, and so I think we're good. I'm just gonna give it a few more days just to be sure, and boy, do we have a video for you. I'm excited for this. This is gonna be hilarious, honestly. So far, we have hit 10,000 views in the Christmas this video that's awesome keep running that up and because of that I have some giveaways to do for you guys that I announced in last video. All right, so you guys are going to be seeing on the screen recording right now all the comments from my post. So you have about a 1% chance of winning it. There are 109 people that are on this, so I'm going to slide up and down. I'm not going to look at all. We're going all the way, and whatever my finger lands on, this is about as random as I can get it, I am going to pick. So, bam. Roaming with Clay. Merry Christmas. Great video. Super rad optics. So Roaming with Clay, as long as you follow me on Instagram and you are subscribed, you will win an optic. All right. So there are a lot more comments on the YouTube video, but again, same thing. I'm going up and down. You guys will be able to see it. I will not be able to see it. Looks like there's a lot of comments right there. Whatever one that my finger lands on, it cannot be the same person as one from Instagram, but who is getting the giveaway? It will be BAM! Josh Fisher, appreciate everything you do. I play an indoor field called Crucible Airsoft in Canton, Ohio. Would love to get in this giveaway, and it would be dope to go play at some Ohio fields. So, Josh, you're a winner number two. I will be doing more probably in the next few videos. I'm just going to space it out for you guys. I think that would be kind of cool. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be an absolute banger. Super interesting. This is a sneak peek. However, I did get some of the packages that I was supposed to get on the Christmas unboxing, so I'm going to unbox three pistols before we get into this mess. Hold on. I almost forgot. Yeah. Up first in package number one, this one that is actually well packaged from everything I can tell at first. I actually bought three pistols from a kid named uh, Byron. He's been a subscriber for a little while and he was looking to offload some of his collection. So I ended up purchasing three pistols for, from him that I was hoping would get here by Christmas unboxing. Unfortunately, they did not. Up first is an Elite Force 1911 TAC. Uh, this is my favorite colorway of the Elite Force 1911 Tax. I think these things are absolutely beautiful. I love the tan. does look like it's been used a little bit. He said the magazine's fine. There's no leaks or anything. One of these does have a leaky magazine. Um, looks like he has well loved this thread right there, the thread adapter on it. I do not think that will thread a tracer anymore, which is fine. I usually take those off because I don't think they look good. And I don't really like gas well back pistols with tracers, to be honest. I just don't think they look that good. Uh-oh. Well, the left side safety did fall out somehow, so I don't really know. There's supposed to be a screw here for this. Not exactly 100% sure. I will fix that later. Up next, number two is an APS ACP. I've actually heard really good things about these pistols. I end up using one of these, and I actually have a lot of extra magazines over there as well. I end up using one of these in an event. Um, it was in Georgia. It was one of the American Mill Sentiments. I actually had a bunch of buddies who like died all around me. I had lost my gun. I'd run out of ammo. I think it was my Sistema and I'd run out of ammo where the gun was malfunctioning. So I ran over to do was like, Hey, can I grab your pistol and use it? And I pulled out this pistol and I blasted like three or four dudes that were rushing into the building as I was hiding in the back of like this cafe with some booths and tables. Literally looked like a diner. Go to your local diner. It was probably pretty similar to what it was. And I was just shooting a bunch of dudes before I finally ended up running out of ammo with this too. So I just let myself, I called myself out. I was like, I, don't, I literally had no other way of defending anything. Um, but these are pretty nice. They do feel a little bit meh externally. Um, it feels like it's either cheap metal or cheap polymer. But it does have a really nice magwell. I like that they have these kind of like thicker magwells in there. It's like the Glock Repro lookalike kind of. Um, but obviously not any licensing because Elite Force owns all that. But it's a cool pistol nonetheless. Got some really nice uh, fiber optic sights as well. And last but certainly not least is a WE or KJW P226, I believe. This one actually does not have a magazine. I don't know if he did not include it. Oh, he wrote me a little note. I don't know if he did not include the magazine. Awesome. He says, hey, Alec, I would just like to say that I'm a huge fan of your channel. I've been trying to hit like 1.1K subs for about two years. And if it's not too much to ask, would you shout me out and try to help me reach 1.1? Sure. His uh, channel is Taxsoft. Thank you so much. Big fan. Uh, so T-A-C-S-O-F-T. Go check it out. He's a cool little kid. Back to the pistol though. So this is a SIG of some sort. It doesn't look like he included the magazine. Hopefully he forgot that or maybe he told me. I can't 100% remember. It actually feels pretty good. I've not felt many of the KJWs or the WE, so I do not know. It does not have any trademarks or anything on it, so I don't know how to tell the difference. I'm not super knowledgeable about that, but it actually feels really good. Trigger pull is pretty nice and it feels like it's pretty solid construction. 
But let's get into why you guys are here. Welcome to Storytime with Alec Mac, round two. So I received this from USPS. This was sitting on my porch in Ohio because I'm back for Christmas break. And it says, we are sorry to inform you, blah, blah, blah. Article was damaged during processing. And I was like, I usually get these boxes like this all the time. This is nothing abnormal. And then I go like this. And I pull this out and I was like, wait, why is that so... And I go, are you kidding me? So I'm not going to use anybody's name because I'm not trying to fry anybody's life. Um, but we'll call him, we'll call him Tucker. So... Uh, young Tucker, uh, he decided to package a fusion engine, a metal upper receiver, and some parts in this bag. I don't know if you guys would ever, just look, just look at me right now, just look and think. Do you think that this would ever, and this is like four, probably four or five pounds, do you think this would ever work to get from wherever he shipped it to, to me in Ohio? Go ahead and comment down below. Just let me know what you kind of think. I'm, I'm very curious. Because this is an abomination. There, Even if USPS had done everything they could, which I think they did with this priority mail, there is no way on God's green earth that this is getting exactly to its destination because of how it was packaged. I do not blame USPS at all. I think USPS, to be honest, actually does a pretty good job with some stuff. They do, like, they, uh, some people complain about stuff and packages, and I know some packages do kind of get messed up, um, but they do a pretty good job with all the stuff that I really never have issues. I've had packages lost here or there or some minor damage or boxes split open, but if you package stuff well, it will get there. So we're going to start out first, um, and this guy gave me an actually pretty good deal. So everything in here, as long as everything's in good condition, which we're about to find out. Up first is a Crytac Trident upper receiver. It does look like the spring is a little wonky in there, but this is some sort of Mad Bull style rail system. It actually does not have any trades on here, but this is like the Mad Bull slash VTAC rail system. Um, actually feels really nice, and it looks like this upper receiver is in pretty great shape. Even with some of these here, man, like you can just tell when people don't really care that much, and he's probably younger, so maybe that's why. Ooh, that was an incredible catch, I'm not gonna lie. So this is fine to package in here, but they have bubble mailers in the post office that will protect things a lot better. So here's the fusion engine. Engine actually looks like it's in really good shape. Um, does have a, Cry a Crytek Trident lower as well. I believe this is a Gen 2 Revision 3. The engine looks like it's in really good shape. Now I did think he said something about solenoid or something being messed up in there. That is fine, it's either one or two. Um, those are expensive if you don't know. Solenoids are like 70 or 80 bucks a piece, I believe. So if it is both the solenoids, that is going to be an issue. But fusion engines are really nice. And I got this whole package for like a decent price. So I'm not mad about the package or anything. It's just the packaging. And a lot of these reasons that I upload these videos for you guys is so you can see and kind of learn from mistakes that other people have made. And for me, when I was up here, literally up in my living room watching this, I was like, this is hilarious. This has got to be a video. Up next, we have the Crytek Trident Lower. Also, once again, looks like it's in really good shape. And then and there's some sort of amp line here. It does, uh-oh, uh-oh, issue number two. It does look like this line is literally rusted shut. And it looks like the regulator is the exact same. No, that one moves a little bit. Wow. So I don't know what this dude did. This is an amped SLP rig. Looks like it was literally left outside. Maybe he found this. It looks like he might have unearthed this at an airsoft event, and then he ended up shipping it to me. That is completely seized up right there. There's no way that that is doing. So another reason why it's really good to pay uh, goods and services for transactions that they PayPal will have my protection on this. A lot of people that pay me don't pay because I'm honest. I'm really trying to help you guys. And if there is an issue with something, I will try and fix it or help you guys out a little bit. But this line is unusable. I literally can't use that line because it will not. You can see that little, maybe with the lighting, it's kind of cool here. See that little puff that came off? This is literally unusable. So I will have to figure that one out. Up next, we do have the FCU. Looks like the FCU is in fine condition. I didn't check the wire harness. Looks like the wire harness is in pretty good condition as well. It looks like he's got some of the parts for the Crytek, which is nice. He also said he did throw in a charger. I don't think I, I included that in the package, or I think he said he threw it in. He also said he threw in two high cap mags. I have no idea if these work at all. One is TM. Oh, I actually had a little bit of gas in it. It does have like one of the Promi purples up top as well. Maybe he felt bad because of some of the other things that we got in the packaging. That were not great. Nice, so he did wrap the optic in here, which these are actually really good for wrapping optics. Looks like this thing was completely protected despite everything going through. And it does turn on, which is nice. Awesome, so it's like, it looks like it's a red and green. I think this is a 553, 551. I don't exactly know the differences between those two. Theory confirmed that this man found this somewhere on the field. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. I will show a close up on it, but this thing is rusted. To, I think he said he threw this in. I don't think this was included in the deal, but it's some sort of, these are actually a nice holster. I think this is one of like the high kappa race mounts. 
But man, is that thing rusted to heck. Now granted, you could have found this on the field with this line. Honestly, probably might have been what it is. This was like buried. And then my man went in there on the YouTube uh, channels and found like the digging. Digging for gold! Um, <laughs> yeah, but this was not included in the price, so I can't comment on that at all. But he did include a Noveski amplifier. I can't remember if this was included in the package or not. I believe he did throw this on the end of this. Um, but it's time for lessons with Alec Max. So lesson number one, make sure you pack your stuff well. Um, lesson number two, I am not mad at this dude or anything. I still think this is a good deal. Honestly, taking these videos does uh, require a lot of time. And when people send me stuff like this in the back end, I spend hours and hours in the back end that you guys don't ever see. As far as when I get unboxings, I open everything afterwards. But even the cleanup process afterwards sometimes takes hours for me to kind of organize everything, put it in my room, take it inside, make sure that stuff and screws are tightened in so that when I resell stuff, Hopefully you guys will get something that is a little bit better. So anything that I get in my hands, I'm hoping to send it out better than when I received it. That's just kind of a goal. So if you guys can kind of shoot for stuff like that as well, it's just going to make the world a little bit better place, especially the airsoft world. Uh, but this has been Alec Mac 101. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought this was fun to make. It is going to take me a lot of work afterwards, and I'm going to be reaching out to uh, the dude and talk to him um, and hopefully get a refund for these and probably just send these back. And hopefully this engine is fine because if it is and I can put a solenoid or two in and pay sure shot midget to tech on it then i will put this into another gun so that i can run another fusion engine gun because the fusion engine is the best hpa platform on the market by far it's incredible what polar star did the fact that this was the first engine that was ever created and is still the best in the market is pretty awesome in my opinion so congrats polar star this is alec mac 101 i'll see you guys soon